Hey guys, we just got the blog for the Forge overview of the new stuff coming in the April update or CU32. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we are getting new flood stuff, new alien stuff, some scripting, and just take a look at that beautiful scene that we have right now. So that uses um, new uh, alien pieces. So we'll go back to that. So we have the flood palette that's coming, which will be over 100 new objects. And you can see the, the var variety of uh, flood objects like these are like, you can make your own blight lines. So you have your own sort of flood pods, you know, those, the ones that pop, although these ones won't pop. Uh, you have like gooey and effect stuff. So yeah, it looks gross and that's good. We already have forge. I mean, we already have um, flood Spartans and stuff now. So pretty good. So then we also have the alien world palette. And you can see that it also has like these sort of structures, ancient structures of an alien civilization and stuff. And they're kind of cool, honestly. I really like it. It's, it reminds me a little bit of like Greco-Roman stuff in some of the pieces, but also very alien. Those will be very fun to make cool stuff with. And we also have like rocks with like moss and it's really pretty looks really good in my opinion also we have all of the different types of plants and stuff and they're gorgeous just absolutely gorgeous and you know more of the structures stuff and there's over 150 new objects that's new trees flowers plants stone structures that includes decals and stuff so yeah all of the new objects they look good and we're also having some scripting stuff that's coming, some new nodes, so that's good. So for new nodes, we'll there, there will be new nodes that will be added for extraction and last part in standing modes. And there's some additional options including clone object, which allows players to duplicate gameplay objects that are on map. So let's say if you have a dynamic object, you'll be able to clone it, so that's going to be good. Um, that includes... That doesn't include on that's I mean if it's a dynamic object gameplay object, that should I think include more than, uh just vehicles and weapons. But I'm pretty sure that will include dynamic stuff like let's say you have a block that's dynamic. Hopefully I think that's that should happen yeah. So there is also object filters which will be added. So the node does player pass object filter, remove all filters on object, set player filter on object set team filter on object so we'll be having object filters for the mode creators we have new mode variants that have been that will be added firefight king of the hill last Spartan standing and all ranked modes and the new objective objects will be generic deliver point generic flag spawn generic power seed generic shrinking zone so that's what we'll be getting for next week, uh, which is just in a few more days. So yeah, tomorrow we should have, I think it should be tomorrow, if not Monday, but should be tomorrow, I hope, we'll be having the customization overview stuff. So we'll be taking a look at all of that. So see you guys next time. I'm excited for the Forge stuff. Bye.